What's going on guys, Siobhan here back with a new video and today I have the perfect jailbroken iPhone running iOS 13.5. If you're new to the channel, my name is Siobhan, I post tech related content, lifestyle and also now I'll be doing one sort of two some jailbreak related content. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I have on my iPhone. A lot of people have been asking because I post a few teaser pictures on my YouTube and also on Twitter. So yeah, if you want to see more content like this, if you get this video to 500 likes, then I'll probably think about posting more content like this regularly. But yeah, if you guys are interested, all the links and everything will be down below in the description. Hopefully there's a timestamp as well, so it goes flow, it flows easier. But yeah, without any further ado, Let's see what I have on my iPhone and all the tweaks that you guys might like. So yeah, let's get started. All right guys, so now we're here on our device. Now the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my wallpaper. You could find links to the wallpaper down below in the description. If anything I talk about here is confusing to you guys, there's also a Discord link down below in the description where you could go and it's the jailbreak community. You could ask questions, they would help you, they have a genius bar if you have issues, anything like that, Discord link down below in the description. People are there to literally help you. All right, the first thing I'm gonna start off is with the lock screen. So I'm just go ahead and show you, boom. All right, now you might saw that close animation, this old TV animation. That's because of an app called, a tweet called Springtomize 5. But we'll talk about that later on in the video. We're just gonna focus on the lock screen for now. Now this is my lock screen. It's pretty simple and neat. And the tweet that I'm using to get this clock widget right here is called Calm. And the, the um, repository will be found below in the description as well for everything I mentioned. So yeah, it's called Calm. And if you guys saw from the intro, if I'm playing music on the lock screen, let's go ahead and play some music. <laughs> I was vibing. Anyways, boom, you can see that. Super dope. Now if we change it, the time color change, all the colors change, the background change. You might be wondering, Chevron, how do you do this? This is so sick. What I'm using for this is Flow and Color Flow 5. Now Color Flow 5 adapts the um, clock icon, the clock widget, the text, everything it adapts it. And Flow gets this nice flowing, like the album art, all of that. And I'll show you the tweaks just about now. So I'm just going to the settings and it's right here. We have Flow. These are all the settings that I use for Flow. These are paid by the way. And Color Flow 5, all I did was just go into Spotify, enable it, lock screen, enable, add shuffle, and resizing mode, make sure it's default. If you choose anything else, it will bug out, so choose that to default. Now you might be wondering, what's that small little thing right here? Now this is called Axon. It's like Parity Hub if you guys remember it, but basically it just shows all your notifications in a really cool way. So if I had more notifications, it would show up here, like a lot, and you could scroll through them. And if you want to clear it, you just long press, you could clear all your notifications, or you just clear Discord notifications. And let me just go into setting for Axon real quick. Here it is. I wish you could send like a test notification, but I don't think you could do that. But yeah. That's it for my lock screen. I don't really have anything much on my lock screen. I use Spring to Minus 5 to like hide my flashlight and my camera and control center grabber. Now if we swipe home, this is where all the beauty is. Pretty simple tweak. And the first one we're gonna talk about is battery percentage X. Now battery percentage X basically replaces the battery icon with an actual battery percentage of what you have. And if you long press on this, or double tap, it puts it into low power mode, which is really dope. But yeah, let me just keep it like that. So yeah, that's body percentage X. Next up, we have Springtomize 5. Now, Springtomize 5 allows me to have all these cool animations when swiping through pages. It also changes the folder. So as you can see, the folder background is clear. So I have all my app icons down here. It looks really cool with the clear folder. Next up, we have Zen HTML for my widget and also we have Boxy 4 to get this nice boxy layout right here. You could change the layout style, you could move it around. I don't really want to move mine around too much because I don't want it to be off-centered now. But yeah, use Boxy 4 for that. 
the theme that I'm using is snowboard the theme engine I'm using is snowboard and the theme that I'm using is muse 4 also if you guys are wondering I'm using a font as well with snowboard the font is volt rounded 85% yes there we go so if I go into tweaks and I find spring to minus 5 you can see all the different things you could change with spring to minus 5 it's actually crazy how much things you could change with this tweak so you have the animations as I mentioned before you could speed up your animations and all of that the app switcher that I'm using is a grid layout spring to minus 5 gives it like this iPad style layout really dope control center I didn't really use this for my control center my dock I did nothing to the dock but you could hide your dock the folders as I mentioned I just hit the background for the folders the icons I didn't do anything to the icons lock screen remove the flashlight the camera quick action hit the CC grabber so you won't see that little line under there uh, the pages nothing status bar did nothing right there but yeah spring to minus five is really dope there's so much things you could change with it and yeah definitely recommend you guys to check it out next up where is boxy for the boxy icons now this is boxy right here icon layout settings what I'm using that's it you just copy my settings if you guys want to and now for this theme and this is what you use to enable the font as well so just install the font and then go down here and enable it and it will work all right now for my widget I'm use as I said before I'm using Zen HTML so you could choose your lock screen widget but what I'm using is a home screen widget and the home screen widget that I'm using is from Evelyn Wynam repo and it's SBEW13 right here really cool simple widget and yeah just gives it a very clean look now my control center this is where things get really interesting now from a control center I wait before we jump onto the control center you guys might be wondering about these badges I'm using color badge I think color badge 5 or color badges I'll leave the links down below but yeah it basically use the notification badges and it adapts to the app icon so if it's a red app icon it gives you a red color badge if it's a black black color badge instead of just a standard red and it looks smooth and it just looks way more better than before but yeah let's jump on to my control center and as you can see my control center comes in from the top because I swipe down here you could change the different locations where it comes from but this control center is called prism and I'm using that look like a load of different stuff with prism because prism have like different tweaks that works in conjunction with it so I'm using prism for my control center prism com cc layer cc which adds the icons so I have different cool icons here it's not like the stock iOS icons really modern icons on here that's because of layer CC and also I'm using magma evo which adds colors to the control center so as you can see this brightness toggle is kind of yellow my sound is red if I turn on for example where's the flashlight if I turn the flashlight on you can see it's yellow so yeah you guys get the idea I'm going to prism now these are all the settings you could change I said before you could invoke the control center from the lower left the lower right or both so you could invoke it from the lower right let me see if I have to respring for that yeah you have to respring to get it to work but yeah prism is really dope these are all my settings if you guys want to copy my settings to have the same thing as me but yeah that's pretty much it for my control center now miscellaneous tweaks that I have on here is like swipe selection I have tweak restrictor so for example tweak restrictor if you have like bank applications and stuff like that or snapchat you definitely want to use tweak, tweak restrictor which basically disables the tweak in these applications so if you open it the app won't know that you're jailbroken and will grant you access to use the app and the only thing I use it for is like my Scotiabank app snapchat TD bank and yeah that's basically all the apps that I need it for next up I have this one called Wi-Fi password list it's a tweak but it's an application I don't really want to open it right now because yeah it will show all my Wi-Fi passwords and stuff like that but you get the idea 
you might see one or two don't care but yeah Wi-Fi password list next up I have YouTube Reborn which allows me to play YouTube videos in the background so I could listen to YouTube videos in the background you could disable ads stuff like that and another one I have is skinny settings which basically gives me this neat settings and also preference organizer to organize my tweaks from my system apps and also I have this picture up here and I think that's from this tweet called modern settings yeah that's from a tweet called modern settings it allows me to add that module on the top and you could change the picture as well if you want to choose a different image but I just keep this one up here to keep me motivated but yeah guys that's it basically for my entire setup I don't really have anything too crazy going on here but hopefully you guys like the setup if there's any tweaks I missed let me know down below in the comments so I could get back to you guys as soon as possible alright guys thanks for making it to the end of the video as I mentioned earlier, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know by smashing the like. Let's try to get 500 likes. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, as always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.